Hello everyone, uh, in today's video I'm gonna be talking about uh, assassination attempts. Um, now the first example I want to look at is uh, John F. Kennedy. Uh, now this example I took from this book. Okay, so, so first off, uh, what, what we notice is uh, the Mars, which is a malefic planet in a damaged cosmic condition, which is Taurus, and in conjunction with the 8th house. Okay, so aside from that, uh, this axis, which is the third house and the ninth house, uh, which is related to travel, the rulers, Jupiter and Mercury, uh, are both in conjunction with Mars, which is all in a damaged cosmic condition. And even Pluto is in the ninth house, um, the ninth, Pluto being a planet related to death and the ninth house of long distance journeys. Now, we can really uh, see the picture here uh, of how he's gonna die. Now, it would make no sense uh, for him to go uh, on that uh, dangerous trip that he went without any uh, protective gear. Okay, so let, let's look at the transits for uh, John F. Kennedy. Okay, for his transits, we notice that uh, Neptune is directly opposing the 8th house uh, and the orb is 20 minutes, it's not even in degrees, it's an exact uh, transit. Uh, but aside from the, the, I mean also Saturn, look at Saturn, uh, it's 17 degrees, it's in square uh, to the 8th house. Okay, I mean even Mars, look at Ma Mars, which is uh, 3 degrees away from the 3rd house, a dangerous trip. Maybe we can look at the uh, converse transits. Okay, Neptune is opposing the ascendant and Pluto is in conjunction with the 8th house. Okay, now this example is not, uh, this is not an uh, assassination attempt. This is uh, uh, Jose Ortega, uh, which is a Spanish bullfighter. Now, now th he was one of the most talented uh, bullfighters of his time, but he died at the age of 25, I mean obviously we can see the Sun uh, Mercury conjunction in Taurus in the 10th house uh, and Jupiter in exact uh, sextile to the uh, midheaven. But aside from that, uh, look, Mars is in a damaged cosmic condition in conjunction with the uh, 12th house. Um, the Saturn is in conjunction with the IC, the orb, I mean, is around 1 degree. Okay, the ruler of the 4th house and the 8th house uh, are both in conjunction, both of the malefic planets. Okay, I mean, let's check the transits. I mean, for this case, uh, this is already a radix that is predisposed to an early death. So, I mean, if you're predisposed to an early death, uh, why would you uh, pursue an activity um, that would accelerate it? I mean, the basic answer is because the people just don't know, so they think they're immune, and when they're actually not. Um, again, let's check for the transits for uh, Jose. Oh yeah, the way he dies, he dies at the age of 25, he gets gored by a bull uh, in the ring. Okay, we see Saturn is opposing the 8th house, Uranus is in conjunction with the 8th house. I mean, even, even uh, Neptune in conjunction with the Ascendant. I mean, over here the, or the orb is a bit wide, uh, it's 4 degrees, but it still counts. Okay, we can check... Uh, we can check with the secondary directions, primary directions. I mean, in, in his epoch, we can see the square uh, of Mars b between the 12th house and uh, his natal Mars. Even here, the sextile between uh, the Ascendant and Saturn, this is a critical uh, aspect that matures. Okay, moving on. Okay, let's check the second case. Uh, okay, Pope John Paul II. 
Okay, for the Pope, he has Mars in a damaged cosmic condition in the 12th house, but also Pluto. Pluto is in square to the uh, 12th house uh, with an orb of four, 4 degrees. No, I haven't. I'm not the person who rectified these horoscopes. It was probably Isaac Starkman. But I'm not 100% sure. Maybe. Okay, yeah, Uranus is in, on the date of the event, which is this one. Uh, Uranus is in square to the 12th house. Uh, in secondary directions, we have a square between Mars and Neptune. Okay, maybe this aspect is related to an admission uh, uh, to a hospital. Pope John Paul got shot. Um, that, that was the assassination attempt. He didn't die, though. Not like uh, John Kennedy. Okay, Ronald Reagan. Now... Uh, in astrology, uh, there are two defining uh, mo moments for a radix, uh, which is the first is uh, the moment of conception, and the second, which is the, the one everyone uses, uh, which is the uh, uh, moment of birth. Now, the reason no one knows about the moment of, of conception is because uh, there was no, no possible way to obtain uh, a rectified uh, epoch because uh, people didn't have any access to topocentric primary dire directions. Excuse me. <clears throat> anyway, you can read the, more about the epochs in the book I have uh, in the beginning of the video. Uh, aside from that, um, let's check for uh, Ronald Reagan. Okay, again, the, he has a malefic in a damaged cosmic condition, <clears throat> but he also has Pluto. Uh, an exact square to the 12th house. I mean, it's a similar combination to uh, Pope John, uh, John Paul II, uh, malefic in a damaged cosmic condition, Pluto in square to the 12th. I mean, in his radix, uh, I mean, there's nothing clear. I mean, may maybe the strongest aspect here is this, uh, the opposition of Pluto to the ascendant, but it's uh, five degrees wide. We can check the transits for Ronald Reagan. Okay, pretty clear, uh, uh, pretty straightforward transit here. Look at the combination. I mean, can you spot it before I uh, tell it? And it's pretty clear. Uranus is in conjunction with the uh, 12th house. Um, the orb is 1 degree. Neptune is in conjunction with the Ascendant, the orb is 4 degrees. Look at this, I mean, this is a, uh, a trigger, trigger transit, both the Sun and Mars, um, a very annoying transit to have, uh, to have it land on, on a, on a sensitive uh, angle like this. Okay, so for my final example, I have Adolf Hitler and the assassination attempt. Um, again, we have Neptune in conjunction with the 12th house. Uh, and the trigger transit uh, Saturn in square to the 12th house, which is an uh, exact aspect. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, take care.